Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week at the National Holy Celebration, the St. Ustav, in New Amsterdam, Barbies. The President implored the nation to let the vibrant Pagwa festivities serve as a reminder of the deep-rooted respect and love that binds Guyanese together. He stressed that this spirit of inclusivity must prevail, leaving no room for discrimination in a society endowed with rich cultural heritage. What do we do in this journey? What do we do during this path? Do we spend this time fighting? Do we spend this time hating? Do we spend this time dividing? Or do we spend this time uplifting, moving forward, celebrating, bringing together? And this is what Holy does. It brings us together under the colorful banner of humanity, celebrating life, celebrating happiness, and celebrating, importantly, goodness over evil. President Irfan Ali hosted dinner for former U.S. President Bill Clinton, the French Minister of the European Union and Foreign Affairs, Stéphane Sejourné, and a delegation from the Dominican Republic at State House on Monday evening. The head of state said that former President Clinton has been a friend of Guyana, championing the rights of biodiversity and forest conservation in the face of climate change. President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali says Guyana's resources can be amplified with the support of the Dominican Republic to establish itself as a regional hub. Guyana's arable lands and vast freshwater can also be combined with existing technology in the DR to promote agricultural expansion. The president was at the time speaking during a panel discussion at United Caribbean Forum at the Arthur Chong Conference Center on Tuesday. We are applying world-class technology, world-class methods, best practices globally that exist, not today, that exist for tomorrow. We are applying that today so that we'll reduce the lag time through which Guyana will catch up with the rest of the world and more importantly, take a lead position on many issues. And it is for this reason we see the DR as a critical partner in bridging this gap. Already, the two countries are working to establish this supporting infrastructure for shared growth and prosperity. President Ali also held bilateral talks with France's Minister of Europe and Foreign Affairs, Stéphane Sejourné. Our relationship with France has progressed to a place where we can comfortably say France is a tremendous friend and partner of Guyana. France has stood by us as a friend, as a responsible global citizen and country, as a state that believes strongly in the rule of law, in the sovereignty and territorial integrity of country, as a state that stood on the side of what is right, and they continue to do so on many global issues. Following the meeting, the countries agreed on a joint communique which stated that France will establish an embassy in Guyana by 2025. On Wednesday, President Irfan Ali met with Fisher Folk at Three Door Sluice, the Edward Village, West Coast Berbice. On Thursday morning, the president visited the Meadowbank Wharf to hear the concerns of the fisher folk. Fisher folk complained about the lack of running water and the need to rehabilitate the wharf. They also requested additional lights so they could safely walk in the wee hours. President Ali promptly responded and assured that the working environment will be improved, including installing stand pipes. One of the things that we want to do is uh, we want to make it easier. President Dr. Irfan Ali sat down with the host of BBC's Hard Talk, Stephen Sacker, to discuss Guyana's vast offshore oil and gas reserves and how it is transforming the economy. Recognizing the threat that Venezuela's action can pose to national security, President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali said Guyana is utilizing an international coalition for support should the situation escalate. Many organizations and governments have signaled their support for Guyana, including the Caribbean community, CARICOM, and the United Kingdom. Well, what I'm saying is that we have made it very clear 
that if there is any breach in our territorial space, if there is any action by anyone to destabilize our country and to invade in any way, shape or form, that we will call upon every force and every friend to help us and to work with us to pr protect our territorial integrity. President Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali on Friday emphasized the importance of love, kindness and compassion in everyday life. He was at the time speaking to the Revealed Word Christian Center congregation as he joined their Good Friday service. The president urged the congregation to let this love guide their actions throughout the year. And the essence of this day is love. Love that was selfless. Love that was unconditional. Love that was pure. But more importantly, love that was fulfilling and giving. He pointed to Guyana's rich tapestry of cultures and religions, highlighting how this diversity could be a powerful source of unity. God has brought us together as different tribes and different people under the banner of humanity. There is no difference in the love he pours to one tribe as to another. And if we understand this fundamental aspect of our creation that is being part of humanity, that is the first step towards bridging all wounds, healing all scars. Later that afternoon, President Irfan Ali pledged his government's support to the residents of South Rupununi Region 9 to aid in alleviating the distress caused by the dry season. While meeting with residents of Karudarnau Village, Deep South Rupununi, and Putarinau Village, South Central Rupununi, the president disclosed the government's plan for the present and future development of the region. Your government sent in your community a few days ago 500,000 pounds of cassava, 20 million dollars of cassava to support the villages. And I've committed to this region that we are going to continue to buy excess production from the coast and send it to your villages so that you can enjoy the things that make life easy even under the most difficult circumstances. We don't control the weather. We don't control the dry season. But what we control is our collective ability in the government to ensure we share love with you, to ensure we support you, to ensure we are with you in the good times, in the bad times, in the not so good times. On Saturday morning, the head of state held a meeting with residents of Napi Region 9. We came together and we said we must go back to the people and let them tell us what they would like. We came back, we listened, we unlearn, we relearn, we repackage, and here is it. We are back with you today. And in less than four years, we have fulfilled almost completely all the commitment we have made to you when we came to you in 2020. Later that day, President Ali participated in the inauguration ceremony of the Rupununi Rodeo 2024. This was the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next time.